I live about two minutes away. I've been here a long time. Uh, I've met Eugene. You come here a long time. And I saw the video that was posted on the internet last night. Yeah. Was that you? That was me. You mind if I ask why you did that? She had a fire out there. Right. And okay. I, I went with wildfires. We've seen all the downtown dumpsters. Yeah, I, I work downtown, yeah. And, you know, burning buildings. And I don't know what her intent is. If you got a uh-huh. fire out, not in around here. Okay. I've done it many times to many different people. Just throw water on the fire. With that case, she was right next to the fire. I uh-huh. did not see that. Um, but the fire needed to go off. So because I've had people in the past throw throw the fire at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I said I, I work downtown. I only have a lot of homes yeah. there. Um, my question would be: Did you talk to her before you did that, or anything? If we do, you're allowing them to prepare for what's going to happen. I need the fire to be out. Then okay. Talk. Okay, you need the fire to be out. So what I would have done, I'm say, but I give you a couple of things. Again, I'm a Eugene resident on Ox. I'm a social justice warrior from a random place. I live two minutes away. You can see I, I drove here. Um, what I would have do in those situations is I would go out and talk to them and say, hey, it looks like you're going to light a fire. Why? Um, that's no, kind of, kind of dangerous. She was, she a lid on. Okay. So I'd go and ask her, like, why are you lighting a fire? And she'll say, because I'm cold. And then I would try to offer to help her in a different way. Maybe ask her, tell her that it's dangerous. And say, is there some other way I can help you get one? We're right. trying to rationalize the people who are not rational. Right. And, and the fact that she's outside in that kind of cold weather uh-huh. was never intended. I don't know if she got wet or not. She right. just started to be on the spray. Right. I don't think she did, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of people tell me a lot of things that are not true. Okay. Uh, when I sure. had a, one guy, I, I threw water on the fire. Didn't get anywhere near him. And he said, it's all wet now. Yeah. So I've had that situation before. Right. So... Yeah, um, but I've also say, hey, you can't have that fire out here, and you don't know how how bad they are. And he threw the fire at. Me. Yeah, that that can happen. Was, um, uh, I've been downtown where there's been yeah. people throwing bottles and and busting windows and businesses, yeah, and I go up and say, hey, can you please stop? And I'm ready to run away, right? Um, but what you know, what I would suggest you you think about, and this is this would just be a general suggestion that might help you today. And I would handle it differently the next time. Yeah. But the time I saw a fire going, I don't know where that fire is going to happen. Sure, sure. What's going to happen with it? And I don't know how big it is. Right. But so again, my suggestion in those situations will be number one to understand that. Start making some expressions and get that. They, there's a reason, there are reasons that may be out of their control why they're in that situation, right? So I come from, I'm a, a straight white guy from a really privileged background. My parents were wealthy, they valued education, I went to college, right? I was pretty lucky. Other people that I know, friends that I have, had parents that beat them and sexually abused them, that told them that school isn't important, and had to be kicked out of school. There's mental illness, there's No, 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 there's a lot of things. There's all kinds of things. Right, and those are often caused by things that are out of those people's control, right? Did your parents beat you and sexually abuse you? Uh, Okay, I I, I don't want to answer that question. It's a rhetorical question. I didn't come from a privileged family. Okay, all right. So there are a lot of people that do come from those situations, right? And then that causes them, you know, imagine my background. Versus somebody with that, you know, abusive background, who's more likely to go get a, a college degree, right? It, clearly me, because I can afford it, my parents can afford it, and my parents had to read books and stuff, right? And so I'm much less likely to end up in that situation. I had really good schools that I got to go to, right? Somebody whose parents beat them. I appreciate your concern, uh-huh. but really, I got to get to work. That's fine. That's fine. My suggestion for this week would be... People are going to be here and they're going to be upset. I'm upset. I'm not going to ever buy anything, at least the way things are now, ever buy anything from here again. And I've bought lots of donuts here from okay. for my, my companies. What I would suggest is go, you know, if you really want to to learn maybe how to act differently, is go spend Monday calling some nonprofits in Eugene that work with homeless people and say, hey, look, I did this thing. I think it may be wrong. I don't understand why it was wrong. Can you guys, can I meet with you? And you explain to me your thinking on that and how I, I can maybe think about it differently. So you can learn about it. I don't, I'm not in the business to deal with that. I'm in business to run my business. Okay. I I have a lot of homeless people who come in here. Right. Some are difficult. Some just buy a donut and leave. Some are great. Right. So that's all I can say. And um, So you're not, so, if, but if I were you, I think your business is going to, you know, I work in the business world. Yeah. Um, I, I think your business is going to take a really big hit. If, if, but if you learn, maybe like show some empathy and say, hey, maybe I was wrong. Maybe my mindset is wrong. Well, you you're already heard, you're heard me say that. Well, but you, you, you still definitely like the way you responded to people's messages 
particularly shows that you don't really understand. Respond to what messages? Uh, messages on social media. I didn't right. respond to anything. I mean, you did, but no, it, didn't. okay. Um, so uh, that the, no, did. okay. Well, whoever did, I would suggest you know, as the business owner, as the face of the company, you go meet with some nonprofits that work with homeless people, take a picture next. Wednesday or Thursday after had time to do this, write a sincere apology if you think that's if, if that's your mindset, and say, look, hey, I now learn why that was that behavior was inappropriate. Then people like me are much more likely to come back. They're like, wow, he learned something. I there's I, I learn something new every day. I make mistakes every day. He did too. That'd be my suggestion. All right, that, that's all I've got to say. Um, I am going to be so I'm going to be one of those people that's here letting people know, not me here. Okay, anyway. I'm going to be here letting people know that they shouldn't be here. That's going to be that's going to be my contribution to this.